leave and then um, Bing and Amba were late so this morning I woke up really late and I showered and I almost missed the bus did you eat breakfast? I did eat breakfast. I had oatmeal and um, if you want my oatmeal recipe, um, Caitlin will put it in the, in the description. I woke up quite early. Um, I didn't have breakfast because I didn't have time. <laughs> We are sitting in our tent and eating. This is the first lunch of the day. Are you done? Yeah, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have a second lunch later too. <laughs> and then we just learned how to do like bearings and navigation, orienteering, contour, contour lines, stuff like that. And then after this, we're gonna go on a practice walk. And we have to empty our bags and stuff because you don't want to be carrying stuff for the first day. <laughs> Bring a mini fan. Get, get yourself one of these. <laughs> I know they make an annoying sound, but it's saving me from having a panic attack. You have a knee problem? <laughs> Literally, like, I'm not joking, like, sort it out. If you have a knee problem, good luck, Charlie. I'm sitting down right now. We have to sit down and it hurts. So, <laughs> do something about it. second checkpoint it's right over there we can see the guy who's supposed to greet us and tell us what the next coordinate is we can kind of see the group behind us well not anymore but we, we were able to before the lake is really nice we're walking right next to it that's lydia okay we worked out our first bearing now we know where we're going there's kind of a distinct path so we're following that We missed the checkpoint <laughs> and we walked ahead of it actually. Is but we can't even take the fucking comment. I did. This is a tip. If you see any paths, it doesn't mean you have to go in the path. You just follow what you your where heart. you <laughs> follow your heart. Follow where you think you should go. All this. Um, we're filling water right now in the car. There's a little water checkpoint, so that's what we're doing right now. Shannon and Solace. We're walking to our fourth checkpoint. We can see the guy right there, so we're almost there. Um, we had to wait at that third checkpoint for like half an hour because another group got lost. They went into private property, and so people had to find them. But now we're walking. Now we have to go through a nice dilemma. So it really is akin to the philosophical nature of life. I'm just gonna go through. I don't know how to show you all this. They're my feet. I actually look busted. Y'all, Shanann, vlog time. I'm pretty sure there's a lizard on my backpack. I'm tired. My shoulder burns. I want water. I'm fine. Really want to wash my hair. It's hot. I have nothing else to say. Au revoir. Hi guys. Um, it's Amber. And basically, my knees are my knees and they're in pain. You know what I say about pain? If you pretend it's not there, you don't feel it. So that's my motto for life and it's currently working. So that's some life advice for you. Yes, yeah, so if you ever want to come out to the desert, bring only your friends. Don't bring people you don't want. And bring some vibey music. And you, honestly, you will be fine. Also bring hiking shoes because you don't want to roll your ankles. And that's it. 
like it's really pretty because there's no one here and you just get to be one with nature oh that's cute Everyone's about to go to sleep. So we were all playing outside, but then it started raining and I thought it would keep raining, but then it just stopped. Everyone went inside their tent. It was really vibey when it was raining, but now it stopped. Yeah, because so. we were playing like football and handball and everything. We don't feel tired, but they said that when we go to sleep, we will. So I guess we'll have to see. We set an alarm for six o'clock in the morning because you have to get up early to make breakfast and stuff. And I'm gonna make my lunch tomorrow morning. Oh yeah, here's another tip guys. Bring a hanging light like this. Yeah, so you can see. Cause it hangs at the top of my tent and it's really useful. Always bring solar power cause you're gonna be in the sun for the whole day. So it'll, it'll charge by itself. That's Lydia, you can hear laughing. Lydia, can you be quiet? We're vlogging. Oh yeah, Lydia's making a vlog too. It's a montage. I'll link her channel in the description yeah. so you can watch it. We also got some scary warnings for tomorrow, like if oh, it yeah. rains, we have to get to high ground, otherwise we might be washed away and killed. I'm going to tell you what we had for dinner. Okay, so you say what you had for dinner. So I had this like pasta thing. It's basically like pot noodles, but pasta. And I also had an energy bar and Ella's Kitchen. I recommend that for everyone. No. Guys! Hey, y'all! Come in, the wind, the door's open. <laughs> Guys, smile for the vlog. Okay. <laughs> I didn't sleep that bad, but the thing is, it was like sticky and cold at the same time. I was like, should I cover myself? Should I not cover myself? After we woke up, because our tent was so hot, I came out and I had like a shock because I was like, whoa, why is it so cold outside? This was what everyone's eating. Lydia has brought two crepes and she's eating them plain. Um, Bing know, has brought miso soup. The fire. And this is Shanann. She's having some pot noodles for breakfast. Amber had one of these rice crackers. Oh, she's got so jam cute. on top. She looks so cute. And I'm having cereal. Why she still look? Kind of looks mm. mank, but it's okay. And I'm making my lunch now so I can carry it with you me. Used this. Hello. <laughs> At night, it was really cold, so I zipped up my like sleeping bag. And the wind it kept like pushing on me. And my water bottle fell down, and I thought someone was walking back and forth, and I literally wanted to punch someone. And then I woke up, and then I got changed into a thermal and a jumper. And I wore like trousers over my leggings, because it's cold, cold. And then I heard the cockroaches. Cockle, no, cockle doo doos. Roosters, roosters, roosters. That's what they call And this morning, I'm having crepes, a granola bar, and nuts. Oh, we should have said we're good. Um, no, I had a terrible night. It's, it's I woke up at 2 a.m. and I had a migraine. I found out now that this is what a migraine feels like. And I hate it. I hate it here. I hate it here. I want to go home. Um, and it's it's still it's still raging. She's still going strong. And then I sat up and then I heard Lydia singing, was which was the singing. highlight of my night because it went a bit a little bit like. Uh, this is the this is the setup. Everyone looking fresh, and I look like an egg. <laughs> Hi guys. So is... we woke up at 5:50, and I honestly don't want to talk to anyone. I'm so tired. Oh, it's and brilliant. I can't do this. Like another I can't do this today. So. And I just lost my hairband, and now my day is getting worse because it was my favorite hairband. Look at us, we we packed. Um, so we're about to leave. Everyone is packing up their stuff. We finished packing up, so we're waiting. We're gonna take a five minute bus ride and then go to Bye. our thing. It's the first day of the actual um, qualifying expedition. We have to be looking out for wristbands and water. Today we're taking the whole load. Yesterday was a practice expedition, so we didn't take the whole load. Okay, we reached another checkpoint. There's three groups there. We took a break there, we ate. A little bit of snack. Nick's almonds, some of Shanann's Nutella Bueno bar. So snacking makes a difference, it makes you happier.
like six over there. And now we have to climb up this hill, but this is not gonna be the biggest hill that we're gonna be climbing today. Cause we just stopped for a while. Those are some donkeys walking. We've gone in a bit of a snaggle. So basically there's this group over there, but they're going 90 degrees to the bearing, perpendicular. So the bearing is actually over, it says to go there, but they're going that way. So we've reached the skeleton graveyard. This is basically where, um, sorry for the graphic imagery. They said that this was a sign that we're reaching the end of our journey. So, that is good news. Don't kiss. Oh, it stinks. We're at checkpoint 10, and this is everyone. We're all sitting here um, because we have to rest before we do our final thing. And our final thing is to climb up these mountains here. I'm not sure which one, but we basically climb up this mountain and then climb back down, and then we're done. And that is our expedition finished. Day one of the expedition. We are on the mountain. Here's some poop. Looks fresh. We were just up there. Woo! The tree. Mufasa. Mufasa. Like, that's what it looks like. So we are back in our tent. We finished. Um, and now everyone's resting in their tent because everyone's super tired. We are all tired. My feet ache. They've got blisters. It's not good. I'm having a juice. It's really warm, which is not that nice, but it's okay. Wear socks that like protect you from blisters because my blisters right now are so bad. Yeah, we went up a mountain. It seems like when you're at the bottom, it seems really big and you don't think you can do it. But like, it's actually okay, and it's like, you always get scared of something before you actually try it, and then you realize it's not as bad as it seems. So, if you're scared of doing something, just try it. With the people we were going with, we got these Coleman pop-up tents, which is the one we're in right now. They're really easy to set up, but they're really big. Because they're so big, people gotta keep it in the carrier, and they didn't have to carry it. And we got the proper tent, it's not a pop-up tent. And those ones you have to carry, which is a bit annoying when we were walking, because we didn't have space in our bag. Tent. So make sure when you pack your bag, you always have space for things you're going to add along the way Because even though you're going to eat food, food didn't actually take up much of our bag and we didn't have space to carry the tent So make sure you're doing that if you're going to get your tent at the campsite And now we have limited water too We have to conserve our water, which is why I'm having juice Thank you for watching this far into the video, it must be really long Well, maybe it's not long when we show it to you guys, but for us it was like two days, so yeah, we have like a bonfire tonight with everyone, so that might be fun. Oh yeah, the bonfire. Oh yeah, and we're gonna mosh Lydia's roasts. We're gonna roast Lydia's marshmallows. I've got a rock going up my back! Oh, porridge is good. It's gonna be warm. I have to have cold cereal. I didn't. I didn't think about how I wanted it to be hot the next day. Hi guys. Today is the last day of the expedition. We are now the last group walking because we took a wrong turn at the beginning. I'm not gonna say who did it, but um. We've already passed like two checkpoints and worked up the bearings. On our way to our third, we had a filling breakfast. It was really cold this morning. It literally felt like we were on Mars because of all of the rocks. And it was so dark and cold. So cold, my teeth were chattering. I didn't think it would be cold because it's February. And we live in the UAE and it's hot all the time. I had cereal again for breakfast with coffee, which is hot. I woke up and my lips hurt so bad right now because of the sunburn yesterday so I had to apply lots of Vaseline and my breakfast was free crepes 
and something else. For breakfast, I had some banana chips and like a smoothie thing. And yeah, it was really nice. I lost my water bottle. I'm literally, I'm so annoying. I told everyone on campus. It looks like this. And if you're watching this video and you accidentally took it home. Ah, no, oh my God, my water. Oh my God, this happens every time. I dropped so much water. another checkpoint guys said we have like 1.5 kilometers to go we're just waiting for that that rest when we can sit down on the bus and relax for two hours until we get back to our school guys we've reached the bus in i'm so happy to see a white bus in my entire life Lydia! <laughs> 